Aaron Cohn here, law enforcement trainer. I uh, was one of Keanu's instructors for the John Wick franchise, uh, special operations veteran. I um, want to talk about a new product uh, that I brought to market not too long ago. I'm talking mainly to my law enforcement uh, community out there, and this will address friendly fire avoidance, either while working plain clothed or while carrying off duty. This is a friendly fire avoidance cap that I manufacture designed to be able to reduce risk and increase overall officer safety in the event uh, um, that you are working plain clothed and you need to identify yourself. Um, most officers, when they're working off due to your plain clothes, they'll have the badge, they'll keep it close to the firearm so that if it is exposed, it can be seen. Uh, badge will come out uh, in the event the weapon is drawn uh, so that you can identify yourself to other officers who may be responding. Um, it's a friendly fire avoidance. It's our friendly fire or blue on blue incidents isn't uh, going to be as uh, big of an issue in your uh, uh, jurisdiction. You're going to know most of the um, the other first responders who are in the area, uh, but you may be traveling. You may be out of state. Uh, most officers carry. I know I do when I'm out of state. Uh, you may be transporting somebody, or you just may be forced to respond uh, given today's climate to a, a, a critical incident, an active shooter killer. Uh, where you will need to draw your firearm uh, if you have an opportunity to be able to put down the, uh, uh, the active threat. Uh, so the question came into mind is how do we avoid getting shot or getting shot by accident by other first responders, other law enforcement uh, uh, responders who are coming into the scene? So this is a friendly fire avoidance cap or a plane or an off-duty uh, uh, cap uh, that I manufactured. The cap only comes out in the event that your gun is drawn and that you've been forced to respond uh, with your firearm, either responding to an active threat or while playing clothes on an operation, for whatever reason, you need a higher level of identification to be able to reduce risk to yourself, uh, to your teammates, uh, and make sure that you don't get shot uh, by accident. So this is the cap right here. It's got uh, two reflective or high visibility reflective panels on both sides. Uh, the cap folds up just like so, slips into your pocket, disappears, super comfortable. You're not even going to know it's there. Uh, it can go into a bag, it can go into a glove compartment, it can go into one of your uh, additional pouches. Uh, it can go anywhere uh, uh, folded up and it's super, super comfortable. It's very thin. It's almost like a bicycle cap. Um, and these high-vis reflective panels that you can see here are excellent for low visibility. So uh, uh, if I was to turn off uh, the lights, you guys would get an idea. There's a nice reflective property here on both sides of the cap. Didn't feel the need to uh, put anything reflective on the front of the back because when the cap is on, by the way, ugliest looking thing you've ever seen, only goes on when it's needed. And at any point, however you're turning after the response, obviously the firearm needs to go away or you may be covering the uh, suspect. You're gonna get coverage. Uh, you will be seen, all right? You can go forwards and go backwards just to keep that little beak out of your way, just to identify yourself. Again, it's the ugliest looking thing you've ever seen. However, this will reduce risk, which will ultimately reduce liability. So for the after actions, for the reports, when you're trying to articulate why I felt I was justified and I was coming out with the firearm, I was in fear of my life, the life of citizens at the mall or wherever I was, uh, knowing that you have a piece of high visibility identifier that's super comfortable and easy to carry that you can put on and it's really, really visible to other responding officers coming at you with a massive chemical dump, tunnel vision, auditory exclusion, all they're looking for is the guy with the gun. So again, if you're, especially if you're out of your jurisdiction, uh, high vis uh, or friendly fire avoidance cap, only when that weapon or firearm comes out after the business is done, after you've responded, and um, been able to successfully stop the active threat by subduing or neutralizing the threat, not a bad idea. The badge won't be enough coverage. If it's dark outside, if the weapon's in your hand and you're waving this thing around, certainly not bad, but why not have both? It's an extra layer of security. Really designed or focused for plain clothed units who may be involved with high-risk warrants, uh, types of plainclothed operations where you're dealing with high-risk uh, uh, high operations, uh, where there is a good chance that your weapon might be coming out uh, uh, in the process of carrying out your duties. Um, check out my Friendly Fire Avoidance Cap. I make these for uh, police. I also make them in uh, an OD green for sheriff. They fold up, 
super comfortable, slide, them in your, slide it in your pocket, keep an extra one in your glove compartment. You just never know. Times have changed today uh, and liability is through the roof. Uh, there's a major exodus with law enforcement going on right now. Obviously, the defund the police movement uh, uh, and, and, and other factors, you know, people are leaving the business at a, at a very hard time. And so agencies are dying right now. And so you really want to do everything that you can to be able to reduce risk and liability. So if you are going to respond, if you are off duty or you're working plain clothed, you've got some additional layers of um, high visibility. I do offer a discount uh, for law enforcement. Uh, so just go ahead and hit me up, shoot me an email. Uh, also, these will not ship unless you provide proof of sworn status. We make that very clear. So I either, I, I either need an email uh, from your government or from your uh, agency uh, account or a copy of your credential. And uh, that is the only time when these will actually ship. So uh, we're very careful about who these go out to. Um, but again, hit the link in my bio for more information and then shoot me an email for a uh, discount code.